Hello, welcome back to all my dear friends. I am Bravinshu Sharma, Assistant Professor in Department of Journalism and Mass Communication of BBD University. So I am back again with a new video today of logo designing and corporate stationery designing by using the software Corel Draw X6 version, that is 16 version. So uh, yeah, I have already discussed in my uh, last to last lecture uh, about the logo, what is logo, how we are using in industry, what is corporate stationery and the logo as a brand identity. So uh, we will be starting uh, this uh, tools of the uh, Corel Draw and how we are using these tools to design a particular logo and the corporate stationery designing. So we will be starting with the uh, logo. Let's start with the Corel Draw software. So this is the Corel Draw software. I have already given you the brief introduction about this software in my last to last lecture. And uh, I hope you must have learned new things in that video last. So we will start with this uh, software. So these were the tools that I have discussed, uh, like pick tool uh, and the shape tool, crop tool, this zoom tool, and again the smart fill tool, rectangle tool, ellipse tool, shape basic shapes call out tool, text tool, table tool, two point line parallel dimension tool, straight line, transparency tool, blend tool, this color eyedropper, outline pen tool, fill color tool, and this interactive fill tool. And I have also discussed about the color palettes, as you can see in the extreme right on the corner of the screen. I have discussed about the shapes, uh, about the size of the paper. I have discussed about the how to add the pages, how you can rename the page, how you can add the pages after the pages, and these other things. And how you can add the shape uh, border, change the color of the border, change the color of the text in the color of the text border shape of the text border you can change the thickness that is hairline and the various other things so let's start with the logo uh, before starting this logo I'll make one thing very clear if you are making a your logo in a very short and crisp manner like very simple logo then it is very good for the company because the main motto of your company is to give the message through the logo. And if you are not giving the message through the logo, then it does not mean that you are not going to do success in the market. It is a plus point, but it is not necessary that logo is everything. But yes, it is a brand identity. You will see there are various famous brands in the country, in the world, who are doing very good in the market right now. And they have a very simple logo. Like if you talk about the Pepsi, simple ball, if you talk about the MACT, M, if you talk about the Volkswagen, the simple W, if you talk about the Audi, each and every brand is having a very simple, simple logo and they are really doing very good. And there are a few logos who convey the meaning of their brands or their services which they are offering about the, or the products which they are offering. The logo tells about the company. So these are the two things that you can see. So uh, I've already discussed about things uh, about the logo, like uh, your logo should be visible in the broad area. You must know about how it is looking. Your logo is looking like good in the black and white, white color around in the color and how your logo is looking if you are using that logo in a small area like in the visiting card. So you need to keep see about each everything. Like. So I'm going to show you few logo i'll draw a few logos very simple simple logo i'll try to even copy like copy the logos which are already famous in the in the market so i'll try to copy all those logos so let's start with the logo of facebook the first facebook logo it's a very simple logo it's a square background color blue and a small letter f so i'll start with the rectangle tool okay so i'll draw this small Square. I'll fill this blue color inside. I'll right now. You can see the shape 
square is having a border that is black color. If you will zoom in this shape, you will find there is a black color border. So I will double click in the pen, click on the color, this width and then none. So now that we can see the border is gone, no border. Okay, so we have just this small shape, uh, this color this is blue. Now we will add letter F. So we will be to click on the text tool or shortcut is F8 and simply click over here, click the button F. So the size is small, so we have two options to increase the size. Either we can select the letter F and we can change the size from like 22 or like 100, or we can do it in by the alternate method by clicking on this letter F and dragging the coordinates like this. And yes, we know the Facebook. Uh, shape is the color of F is not black, it's white. So click on the white color. And uh, again, we will try to change this. See, you can change the little. From bottom till it has some shape and distance. We will zoom in this thing. Which is yeah. Although it is not hundred percent exactly like from Facebook, but yeah, I try to copy. Shape borders are curved. So little. See in the top, you can see uh, there are a few shapes of the square edges, like rectangle edges. I'll click on this and I'll increase the number. So you can see the, the edges, the corners of the square automatically got curved. Like see, see the curvedness. If I want more, I can increase this number. Okay, it's fine. So approximately, it, it is not exactly like Facebook, but yeah, almost like this, you can see. So what is the difference between the Facebook logo and, and what I have designed is, yeah, it's almost uh, F is at the bottom and this is little curved. So I'll use uh, this shape tool, click on the F. I'll press control Q so that points this comes automatically. After pressing control Q that converts to curve, click this F shape to the side. The increase size. It is something like this uh, stretch. On the back side faces more. So this after doing this select all the elements and press right click on the right click over here and group all these elements by clicking on this or you can directly press control G. See control G is used to group the elements. Right now I have used just only two elements that is the background square and the letter F. But if you're using more uh, elements, you, you can use the control G. See, I have clicked group these two elements. So you, if you will move this anywhere, 
so it will both the elements move automatically so if you ungroup this and like if you will move then this will move another way and f will not move simultaneously with this okay so let's select both the elements and group this it's control g okay all right so I'll, i'm keeping this here so now let's try some new uh, L new logo mm, now we can create like logo of uh, so our next logo is uh, this fedex fedex is a very famous company it's used for the parcels and the courier and the other things so just we will click on the letter text tool type fed F E D E X. We will select this font. We will change to the similar font that is Arial Black. We will increase the size Fed X. And uh, here you can see uh, the space. The original FedEx logo the space between F E D E X is very less. Almost you can see all are back to back each other without any space. The tracking and the kerning, these are the two space. The tracking space is this, uh, when we increase the space between two letters, that is tracking. When we decrease the space between two letters, this is called kerning. So, okay, so from this case, kerning. So, when we, this is what we use for the decrease in the space. So, uh, we will decrease the space. So, we will be doing to do a kerning process. We will select all the letters like this. And the top, you can see this alpha letter A, alpha letter A. We'll click here. Once we will click over here, you can see on the right extreme right side, uh, text properties will get open by default. So we will decrease its size from here. This. Okay. Okay. This is fine. Initial the three letters that we have used is F E D. The color of F E D is something like this, and the other F E D and E X is of orange color. All right. Oh sorry. E and X is of orange. X. Okay. So this is the logo of FedEx. Again, we will select this. Although we, it is not required to group because it is already grouped as we have already used here in a single layer text. Although this is not 100% what I have copied. A few mistakes are there in this logo. If you will go deeper into this, we will be able to cover up. You can see inside the arrow. This is the main initial main motto of the company that to show this logo. It is used for parcel, things are moving on this, this logo. So coming to the next one, we can take the design of uh, we can take the designs of uh, from the webdings it's a font you have to just uh, press the control and uh, f11 Sorry, Control F12. Yeah, you have to press the Control F12, and you will see things like characters property. Click on the font, select web things, and there are a few shapes that you can insert by default, and you can change those shape, and you can create some logo with that. Mm -hmm. I have to click on that shape and I have to click insert. It's a spider. 
let's take some other one uh, see if you are creating some signages for no smoking click just simply click and insert you can insert the colors also from the fill tool box you want to change the border color of the shape in select this shape double click on the color box and again color you can choose yellow or you can choose black color or you can choose the other thing purple blue purple blue is uh, very similar to the inside color so try to use some contrast color uh, you can use light color yellow yeah it's pretty good yeah now if you want to change the shape you can use the shape tool and change this shape you can make modifications although this will change the meaning of the design but slight changes you can do similarly if you are creating any things for the theater so face mask you can use this design again fill the color this or if you want to create some like cartoons design so you can use a square okay. then with the same shape ellipse you can create the eyes of the cartoon clicking and dragging moving aligning this is also part of logo designing start to insert the black color this is the one eye of the cartoon selecting both the shapes and grouping this and from by pressing control g and you can make the duplicate copy by pressing control d so it's like the face of the cartoon and now again these both the eyes are not on the same plane so you can use the ruler guide ruler guide is basically used for the, this is going out of this page so i'll make something like inside the page I'll use uh, this top vertical line ruler guide to drag, make it all the both the eyes in the same axis. See, so this is something minute word. You need mouse. Please do not use your laptop trackpad. Try to use mouse while designing. Get smooth work. Again, uh, yeah. Now this line is touching the curve. Again, here this line is touching the curve. Yeah. So now I think it's fine. Okay. So for the face. Yeah. I can remove this line if I don't want. If I won't remove this line, then also it won't get printed. For the curve, I can use this two point lining and then I can I'll press Ctrl Q to convert this to curve. Then I'll take pick the shape tool 
I right click, close curve. To curve. Increase the thickness. Increase the thickness. Smiling face. Yeah, it's laughing. <laughs> okay. So I saw a little larger. Small by selecting both the eyes, decreasing the size. Change the border color. So this was just a sample what I tried to show you. You can add more things like nose, hairs, ears, etc. etc. I'll select all these elements and click right click and group these elements so that I can move this anywhere. Otherwise, if I won't group this and I'll move, so eyes will go in some other direction, mouth will go some other direction, and the face will go in some other direction. So coming to the next thing. This is the logo if you're creating some film logo or some designs for the film you can use this things also yeah. generally it is of black color so let me change this to color it's clapper board clapper board black color i can write the text over there Text color is black, so it is getting merged. Let me change the color to white. So, let's see. Lights, camera, action, By pressing bold italic, change the font and the other thing, family like You can enter the text over here. Select, click or press Ctrl G to group. If you have some music design work, you can add this headphone. If you want to change the design with the headphone, you can change by changing the notes. If you want to fill the color, just click the color. 
so this web things is very important you want to create these things like now let's come to corporate stationary design so i'm deleting all these things okay i'll keep it in the right side okay coming to the uh, corporate stationary design while designing the corporate stationary materials we can use firstly let's me make it this as a portrait yeah so we when we talk about the corporate stationary uh, material uh, for the so first thing to our mind so here we are going to do the designing of corporate stationery the first uh, thing that is uh, let's take a visiting card okay. visiting card the size of the visiting card is basically 3 by 2 inches uh let's let's say it's size is 3 so this we can change uh, it can take the exact size by creating any rectangle and by clicking on the that rectangle we can keep it 3 that's a width and the height is 2 and yes this 3 by 2 and the we have already set the dimension unit inches so i know this we know the size of the visiting card is 3 by 2 on this shape 3 by 2 so now this is the visiting card 3 by 2 size so now we will add the elements of the visiting card like the name you can enter your name if you're creating a visiting card for yourself you can keep it text whatever you lucky like good oh this is good whatever you like should be sober it's fine keep it here and the bottom you need to enter the contact details or the address you can add the address and decrease the size you can change the size directly from it also you can use this some colors inside like light colors and you use for calling you can add some elements call so like it's a mobile number so you can add the sign of uh, this mobile phone characters you can add color black color can also make it inside the circle
group this thing keep it here or you can remove this word call because this already tells that you are giving the number for calling If you want to give email ID, then you can add this sign of the computer. Or you can give the email ID like a b a b c dot x y at the rate gmail dot com. So you have to click and drag and keep the elements over here and there. You can plan any kind of layout. Keep your call to action things at the bottom. You can keep at the back side also. Read, see the other thing. Webting fonts to We have computer. Or we can use envelope sign also because basically email is a kind of letter message that you are sending. We see send this also. We can use this also. Or if you will get some envelope, use that also. Links three. Let's see if there is an envelope over here. Yeah, it's envelope is here. So we'll keep this envelope for this. So we'll remove this thing. This reminds me how Gmail logo. Yeah. If you want to add your photograph, you can add your photograph also. You can add the company's logo. Let's say we have using some sign let's say it is a company logo keep it some dark let's say it's a company logo for example so you can use this in the row in the center or some the other part whatever you feel like so it's just a sample that I have tried to show you about the visiting card similarly you can draw just to group this keep it in the side can make a letterhead also. Similarly, this letterhead. I have one letterhead with me. So you can record, uh, like uh, you can make a letterhead. some color at the top you can make some design and insert company's logo let's take some hypothetical logo like this Fill some color Okay, fine. It's this is the company's logo. Let's keep the name of the company ABC Private Limited. This is the name of the company.
change some font yes I am just drawing this a very basic one you can have any or, or kind of design that you want change some size borders curve I'm pressing the stop insert some light color so down. this is new thing like this is overlap so you have to click over this image and come to the board order send to the back of page okay. so now it will be something like this all right so this control g we have grouped this thing Here you can mention the contact details. You have already one design. You can like copy from the design. Put white color, decent font. You can use the other thing like call to action. Mobile sign keep this color white you can mention about the website if you have www.xyz.com always try to use color contrast in the contrast color. if you're using background dark then use light color font if you are using light color background, then use color font dark. Website call like this. Call for query for this. Email abc at the rate gmail.com. We will keep the bottom space free so that anyone can design, anyone can write any of the content as required by the company or as required by the other person the doctors generally use for description and the businesses used i have this one sample with me let me show you no, it's not opening right now you can see the various other things also on the google there are various kinds of designs available there so this is the pamphlet, this is the letterhead and the visiting card that I have shown you. So I hope you must have got this idea about basic idea, although it is not a very advanced idea. So it is just a basic one, how you are designing the logo by using the basic simple tools, how you are designing the visiting card, how you are designing the pamphlet or the letterhead and the letterhead. Uh, in my next video, I'll try to show other designs also, but you have to practice these all things once. 
so i hope you have liked uh, this content and i hope you will watch this video again and please sh like share and subscribe my video, video and channel uh, thank you thank you so much for watching this video